Today we're making the Kentucky Front Porch, a delicious lemon bourbon triple sec drink that is easy going down and that's, really that's all you need to know. <laughs> Check out our new ebook, Explorations of Rum, at homecocktailmenu.com slash shop. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shore. Ian Andrews. Bring it down a notch. Bring it right down. Because you know why? We're getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Kentucky Front Porch. This cocktail is one and a half ounces of bourbon, one ounce of triple sec. We're using with Sardo. Triple. Eight, six, six is close to eight. Six ounces of lemonade, homemade, fresh we by just, Ian. Just made it to taste. And he didn't pee in it. It's just real no, lemonade. It's just real lemonade. If lemon? I, pee, I haven't been drinking a lot of water, it would be a lot darker. Yeah, it would be dark. Yes. It's like it would be cider. That's the lemon <laughs> This orange. was submitted by Stephen Dozer, and today's episode is produced by Brian Gift. Lemon, water, sugar. That's lemonade. That's your lemonade, yeah. yeah. That's it. And he made it by taste, and it tastes just like any lemonade that I would buy that tastes wicked. <laughs> awesome. Wicked fucking awesome. Wicked awesome. That is yeah. Hudson Bourbon. That came from Curd when he worked over at uh, Williams Grant. William Grant. <clears throat> yes, William Grant. What are we looking at? I already read it. An ounce and a half. Did. It's a good amount. So you, this recipe that uh, was submitted by Stephen had tested. He tested this with buffalo trace. We didn't have any left. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to get some buffalo trace. Yeah, that's, um, that's a staple. I, I, you know what? Question of the day. What is the product that you don't buy out of necessity? No. Yeah, you don't buy it out of necessity. You buy it because you just want it. Like for me, gin and stuff, I buy that because I need it. Vodka, I don't buy it, but if I did, I would buy it because I need it for specific things. But when it comes to whiskeys and bourbons, I probably have enough that I can make cock common make cocktails for another year and never buy another bottle of whiskey, but I still want to. Like there's stuff, and maybe it goes back to the collector's thing we had been talking about that you might not see yet, is, you know, there's sometimes you just want to collect stuff like you want to buy a bottle like i want to hold this when justin was there he's got all kinds of whiskey she doesn't have he writes on a sticky note when he has a sip of it that's like pretty, like pretty hardcore yeah. <laughs> so you can't you can't talk in yeah yeah do you know how i collect my comics and my magic cards have you seen this <laughs> i'm going to show you i, I know how you collect it looks like kb there. toy he's, box and... <laughs> he's got everything organized yeah. like so what is it? You go to the liquor store, and it's not like okay. I went there because I needed to buy a new Amsterdam gin for uh, the strawberry batch cooler, and I needed to buy a bottle of mezcal because Derek's like hung up on mezcal and how awesome it is. Then you're like, oh, but I really want to try Maker's 46 or whatever. You know, like what is that for you? What is your product of choice? Leave a comment because I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. Summertime's here. I don't know where y'all are, but you aren't watching the show. Just we got like 600 to 1,000 views. I just did a collaboration with Gretchen's Bakery. She gets like five to 6,000 video or views on a video, and she has about the same subscribers as me. How many videos does she put out a week? Like, not even one. Maybe one. How, well, many, two, how many views two. do I'm going to go say two. How many views do you get a week? Oh, yeah, that well, that's different. Good. I don't. Let's not talk about that one. Okay. <laughs> just saying. Um, all right, but that's the same. Per, that's one small group. Look at it. She put out four videos a week. She should have 5,000 per video, no? Is that not how that works? It seems like it would work that way. When people get sick of the stuff, cause, do I publish too much for you guys? Sometimes three videos a day. I'm cranking. Sometimes two. Friday was three. Yeah. Monday was, uh, there was another day I think there was three. Come on. Too Come much, on. too Come little? On. What do you like? I know you guys said you like the vlogs, so I'm going to work on that. I like the vlogs. I, I, just, I like the vlogs. I watch the vlogs. The hardest problem I have with those is... And is, I talk to you. I mean, you tell me what you're doing, and <laughs> you then know, you the vlogs, you know my, vlog. my heartache and my pain. <laughs> <laughs> Soul Brothers. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I don't really have a lot of heartache and pain. I broke my phone. That's heartache and pain. No, I didn't... I was like, uh, the car. whatever. That's hard and pain. Kevin getting hit by a skunk. Hard and pain. Yeah. That was his pain. You used tomato juice? No. no. Mm. Um, I used tomato juice. Well, let's see you didn't watch the video. No, mine worked fine. I used uh, vinegar. Oh, okay. Uh, vinegar, hand soap, and uh, baking soda, which, by the way, also kind of makes a bomb. But only if you store it. Did you blow up Kevin? No. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> you put them together, <laughs> and right after you add the third ingredient, it goes... Like and, and it says... Soda? Yeah, and you're supposed to use hydrogen peroxide for some of it, and they're like, don't store this, because it... Nice. How did that it, work? I don't know. It's not even at the meniscus level. Because it, it, it flew over... I think you hit the ice oh, in it one day. Um, it, and so, you, if you use hydrogen peroxide, apparently you can make somewhat of a bomb. You want to do the tasting notes and I'll tell you about my heartache and pain? Yeah. Watch the vlog if you want to see about his heartache and pain. So, extremely lemony. Oh, lemonade nice. It's It's really refreshing. It's sweet. It's. Um, I've learned something about myself. Not a huge, big fan of too much lemon. Yeah. Is that too lemony? No. No, it's not. 
No. I like that drink. The oakiness comes in a little bit with the bourbon. It's an interesting pairing, the lemon and the oak, isn't it? Yeah. Like the lemonade and the oak. Yeah. I know you get lemon and bourbon drinks, like a, lemon, a bourbon smash or something like mm. that, but that has a different flavor to it. You have all the fruits in there. Yeah. It's like a pinch cup. Mm. It's like a pinch. Yeah. Nothing but with the cup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, but... <laughs> Lemonade is tasty by itself. Yeah. You bring bourbon into it, the oak and the and the sweetness yeah. works. The triplum, which triplum, is like whatever. an orange you, kind of, yeah. You're taking citrus and you're adding citrus to it. It's just a different breed. Yeah, it's... Tasty. You, you probably safe. could cut out the triplum and just go lemonade you and bourbon. Would you might this is a drink it. where if you didn't include that, I wouldn't be able to tell. Um, maybe it would be a little bit sweet. What? So how do you know? How do you know what? Because I feel it. I feel it in my... I feel it in my heart that I would, I would be able to... I wouldn't be able to tell you if Luxardo was in there or not. I bet you would. So you just you just arguing to argue, or are you set? No, I, I bet you would. Really? Like, maybe. I mean, the, maybe, I think it's on the front uh, of the. Taste, you know taste it again and smack your lips. It's on the front of the palate. Uh, or don't. I mean, you can stare at me like that if you smack want. Smack my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smack your lips. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I don't know. It has a little bit of uh, lemon shallow to it. Mm. But I think that's the triple I'm coming in. The, the triple yeah. That's not um, bad. I like that, no. Stephen. It's acidic, but it's not sour. Like, it's sour, but it's not sour. Like, it's beach-worthy sour. It's not like yeah. sour. Like, this is a drink I think even Doug would be okay with. That's the sour that's going to make you want to drink more. This, yeah, this that is, makes your mouth water. You salivate. You this is a good... The, the lemonade blend is good because... If you go to a restaurant, sometimes it's hit or miss on how lemony lemon it is. It's either super lemony or it's super sweet or it's watered down. Like this has just the right enough le lemon acidity and structure, the water to kind of make it so you're not constantly just drinking ounces and ounces of bourbon, but you're still getting the bourbon oak in there. Right. Hidden oak. I mean, it's not too super strong. This is a drink that I think with an ounce and a half, you can go full on as high proof as you want to go. This is a good poolside summer drink, I think. Yeah. It's refreshing. It's 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 summery Stamilous with the lemon juice. Blended. Summer drink. So, yeah, 48%, 46%, 46%, uh, 100% malted barley. That's nice. Four years in aged and oak. It, I mean, this, this is where I'm torn. This is expensive, yeah. right? Not now, what, <laughs> yeah. when you're looking at what we do here, I do ridiculous things for a few reasons. I can. It doesn't cost me anything, right? And there's some wow factor, and people are watching, going, you know, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I got to do that. I'm a YouTube, but you might not want to go with an expensive small batch. You could go with the uh, focus. Jack Daniels. It's got fucking Daniels. numbers on the back are written by hand on what yes. bottle batches this are. Jack Daniels probably the the best out of what you could select, yes, yeah, because it's cheap. Mm -hmm. It's gonna bring in the oak. And, and it's just going to make it taste it's a little sweet. It's going to boost, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't maybe go... you change portions and you throw two ounces in there because Jack, tends to, it's 40%, right? Where this right. is the 46. So maybe you want to... Yeah, you might want to push it up a little bit. bit. Or, what? because what I was going to say is I personally would go with the higher proof on this. Like, yeah. higher proof, large oak bottle, like Knob Creek, the 120 that we have. Something that's super aggressive. Well, there's on. a lot of lemonade. It's a six, yeah. six ounces of lemonade. So you can go, you can go extreme on your like, it's, or if you have a bottle of bourbon that you don't like because it's a little strong, and you find it makes your drinks too boozy, and you're like a Manhattan's not for me, or it makes it way too Manhattan-y, like it's just gonna hurt you. Put it in here, instant success. I don't, I, and, and I think your friends are gonna like it. I don't think a, a bur person who doesn't like bourbon is going to even notice. They're gonna be like, ooh, it's nice and oaky and flavorful. Mm. And it doesn't necessarily bring a lot of whiskey flavor to it. Right. No, it just brings all the properties around the whiskey. No. The oak being good. The top. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Question of the day. Question of the day. Uh, hmm. Hmm. He didn't have one. Didn't we have one on here already? A question? What do you spend your money on? In the chat room, did we? Yeah, I thought there was something about what your luxury... What would you spend your money on? Like, if you... Your discretionary income, what do you spend your discretionary income on? You get tax refund of... not. You do the inverse of Ian. <laughs> you actually get money back. What? Right. Like, you, somebody gets money back for their taxes, not... <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, get, if you get money back on your taxes, what do you spend it on? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I didn't get as you much as I was supposed I'm to. <laughs> yeah, well, I was supposed to get, like, 8000 and I got three. Uh, because well, you also had other... I, I owed money. Well, I was, I was paying 5000 a quarter in taxes last year. Yeah. So this year I didn't have to pay that, but I also forgot to pay the last 5000 for the quarter. Because it's actually paid in the next year, which is where I got confused. 
Paid in 2017 for 2015. I hate taxes. It's so confusing. That I don't know what you're talking about. So um, I didn't pay that, so I didn't get the money back. But what I would have done, as an example, and you can use mine, uh, my discretionary income probably would have went to a shed. Hmm. In my backyard. I want to you like could use a shed. Yeah, let's put, Clear out your garage a little bit yeah, so you can, yeah. like the mower. And you have so much stuff in your garage. But I didn't want. I didn't want like. It's probably just rusting. Yeah, I didn't want like a, a Home Depot shed, and it's a, or or, or a Sam's Club. I want a Reed's Ferry shed. Like one we could build you one. I know. I was thinking that. I mean, there's work. they make it looks it's like a house, bad. but small. Yeah, you put it. You do the frame. You do the you gotta walls. You got to make it flat. You got to find a place out there for it. And yeah. You got to build it. Yeah. I, you dig some post holes, whatever. I, I, <laughs> if I built it, it would be crooked to the side, and it would suck. It would have a lot of character. <laughs> it would have tons yeah. of character. <laughs> I'd tie that shit out of that thing. I'd Just get your dad over here. Get your dad over yeah. here. They'll figure it out. They're both doers. Yeah, well, my dad's probably either on vacation or too busy <laughs> drinking something or whatnot. And he does have his own life. And yeah. So life. everybody's good. And, my, and her father's always building something in their house. So like on the weekend, he spends. His house. He's always rebuilding something. So it's They're like the last. Cabinets. Thing. And yeah. And this. Oh. His boat broke down, so like, oh, he's got a project. Yeah, so I just now we just have a, a shed building party. We invite Ian and Dan. Yeah, and we'll, <laughs> you, can bring, you can invite Link, and he's just gonna watch. We need yeah. yeah. a shed building he party. Stuff. <laughs> free cocktails. Don't pass out the beers. Yeah. The thing is, it's like I could I can make free cocktails for everybody who builds a shed, but they would just come over anyway and get free cocktails when not built. Yeah. So it's like they're. That's what my discretionary income would be for somebody building a shed, or I would get a backup generator, that whole house backup generator that just turns on and does everything. Those are my, that's my discretionary, like, oh, five grand? That's where it's going. Because I don't want to do it myself. I got shit to do for these guys. That's like, right. I don't have time to, like, if I built a shed, it would be six months from now, it would be done, it'd be winter, and you guys would never see any extra videos, and nothing would ever happen. Right. So, no ebooks on them, because I don't know why. Don't sure. win. So... That's it, my friends. You got your question. Discretionary income. What would you do? Make sure you go to uh, homecocktailmenu.com. You want to download Jennifer's ebook. I will have a recipe for my allspice vanilla simple syrup Don's mix number two out there uh, probably before this ever airs. By the end of July, you'll have all of our drinks. The ebook with. Oh, yeah. Yes, the ebook. The common favorites. cocktail ebook is almost done. I still got to get a quote cool from Doug, so I'll probably send him a text if I can remember after Perfect. this. Uh, it's free, free download. And I, you might have to sign up, but. So what, right? Um, and then download it. It's going to have Ian's recipe. It's going to have Don's. It's going to have uh, mine, Jennifer's. It's actually got less of me and Jennifer's. It's more of everybody else because yeah. you oh, guys yeah, covered. <laughs> I had everybody give me their recipes first. Curtis. Curtis has some recipes in there, like Horror at Dots. He's got um, one of his other recipes I think he created. Warren has his tea and Fernet Branca and some other stuff. So everybody's personality is defined by the Vespers in there. For Doug. Um, Boker's Breakfast from Bradley Chambers, which was submitted years ago. Uh, there's a cocktail that kind of fits everybody's personality within the book. So a bit of differentiation. Yeah. So it's not all the same cocktail. Right. They're, all, not, they're not all too similar. Right. Yeah. No, they're all There's, there's, not, there's not a theme. <laughs> there is no theme. It is It is literally the greatest hits. If you said, what did common make cocktails teach me in an eight-year period? Me being me. What would I look at as a culmination of everything we've done? It's in the book. It's, a, it's like Prego. It's in there. It's like Prego. It's in there. I just said what you said, but louder. And then yeah, cool. it has more effect. <laughs> what you did there. I know. It's like Prego. It's in there. There you go. We're teaching you how to drink. That's a good drink. I like it. Orange whiskey. It tastes like vodka to me. Yeah, we've been drinking a lot of vodka today. But that shouldn't be why it tastes like that. Well, it's Irish whiskey, so it's not going to be the potent it's whiskey. Not a lot of oak. It's not yeah, it's oaky. It's not over.